it seems like Chinese students, the natural tendency is to stay to themselves and not try to break through the barriers that are there culturally and become acquainted, more acquainted with Americans or American students. My name is Zhang Nenyuan. I come from Beijing, China. I'm studying in the Newhouse School of Public Communication in Syracuse University. My major is television, radio, and film. I was 17 years old when I first came to the United States. I needed to face every new challenge and solve the problems by myself. It was very hard when I started my life here because of the language barriers, culture shocks, homesickness. I didn't need to take any language courses and started to learn the courses of my major. It was so stressful back then because I was the only international student in the broadcasting major. I couldn't catch the class. I didn't understand most of the concepts on the book and the American TV culture. I felt lonely and helpless because the American students were not willing to talk to the foreign students. My GPA was very low in the first semester, even though I studied really hard. I had to raise my GPA in order to stay in the school, and at the same time, I had to take care of my life. It was a hard time for me to balance my academic and social life. The huge cultural differences made me frustrated. I thought the American life should be relaxed and happy. However, the reality made me grow up. The uh, weaknesses with Chinese international students, um, I think, lies in their difficulty integrating with the American culture and society, tending to stay to themselves and still not really understand a lot about common American culture. Uh, and I uh, differentiate that from the culture that they'll see in the movies. And there can be a big difference between what's in the movies, what's on TV shows, and what's reality. And so they can go away from here and not really get a a sense of common American life and common American culture. Yeah. I came to Syracuse University in July 2015 and um, uh, I found it's a very good place to study. The university has a very good equipment uh, and for us we have a lot of uh, good cameras and good um, equipments to shoot. Um, my typical day uh, is I came to school, sometimes I have class. If I don't have class, I will go to the gym and go to the Zumba classes because I love dancing, I love music. So I think it's a very good way to relax myself. Um, sometimes I have a shooting schedule with my team, so usually it takes a long time to shoot. So. It was tired but really fun. I, sometimes I go to drink and go to the bars with my friends to relax ourselves and I can meet a lot of new friends there and it's my <laughs> hobby too. I think that it would be good for them to talk to students who have been or who are currently in America studying to find out what is it like, what will they be facing, and then prepare themselves mentally for that kind of experience. I think the important thing to remember in any relationship is it's two-sided, meaning both people have to be interested. So it's not just a problem for Chinese students as also American students. Many American students uh, unfortunately are not interested in meeting Chinese students, are not interested in, uh, they feel as awkward about mixing with Chinese students because they don't understand the Chinese culture. And so uh, 
so it's a two-sided thing, which means, which I think would say to Chinese students, don't feel like you're the only one that has the problem here. Um, also, with the interests, I know that the interests are different between American youth and Chinese youth. Also, uh, humor is often very culturally based. If you don't know the culture, you don't know experiences in the culture, and so on, then you don't understand the humor. So therefore, it would be, it could be very difficult to, to, uh, to, to laugh at American humor or for, or Americans to laugh at Chinese humor, not knowing the cultural background. So, <clears throat> it, it takes a lot of work to find commonalities, common area with other people, especially from a different culture. And not everybody's willing to work, and that takes work, and not everybody is willing to work at it. So if a Chinese student can do it if they want to, but it means they really have to work at it and work hard at, at making those friendships. Uh, I think the most important thing I learned from uh, my American study is uh, I became more independent because in China my parents could do uh, almost everything for me, but here I have to take care of uh, my life, my study, I have to balance the two things it's really hard at, uh, at the beginning so I try to um, uh, find how to balance my study and my life at, at, at the same time so I want to tell uh, the future st students came to either Syracuse or to uh, American uh, I think um, don't stay with Chinese all the time. It's not good for your language study. You should become more open to other cultures and other friends from other countries.